swastika and an anti-LGBTQ plus slur was spray painted on a trash can and wall in this area of Fifth Avenue and Robinson Street. It happened early Friday morning. Now police need your help in finding the people responsible for this crime. Take a look at these three people in this picture. They are who police believe are behind this hate crime related vandalism. So when we see stuff like that, it just makes us feel like we're going backwards instead of forwards. Local businesses in the area reported the vandalism to SDPD's LGBTQ plus liaison. Tonight I spoke to Joya Marina, a business owner along Fifth Avenue about this incident. I mean the swastika, like obviously I didn't, that wasn't expected. Yeah, yeah. That that symbol in 2024 in this day and age is is hard. Police believe the people responsible for this vandalism possibly left the area in a car similar to an early 2000s gray Buick Century with a missing right front hubcap. Uh, we don't have a license plate at this time, so we're having to go off the specific description of the vehicle and try to find. Uh, vehicles like that in the area at that time and work from there. In an effort to keep the community safe, there will be an increased police presence in the area. Police say this will help to prevent additional crimes by providing an extra layer of security. Back in May, police say pellet guns were fired at businesses, a car, and even people in the area of Fifth Avenue, Old Town, and University Avenue. Those incidents were also investigated as possible hate crimes. I spoke to one of the bartenders at the rail about Friday's incident. I'm just glad nobody got hurt this time, and let's just spray paint or whatever, and it's not actually bullets or, or knives or pellet guns. Now, police are asking the community to report any information to SDPD's Western Division or Crime Stoppers. In Hillcrest, I'm Esmeralda Perez, CBS 8.